Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, uh, actually our channel, my channel and my sister as well uh, from a while. In this video I'm gonna show you uh, Kate Bosworth makeup in the last Met Gala. She had a beautiful dress full of uh, rhinestones and something like I'm wearing in her hair on both sides. Here you see a close-up of her makeup, it's very sultry, glowy, luminous and elegant as well. It's very classy and elegant and simple look, that's why I loved it. I also loved the uh, combination of the colours on the eyes, uh, which is like an orangey tone and a, a golden amber uh, shadow and these very bold lips. Something that pushed me to do uh, her look, it's uh, the fact that she has a uh, eye shape like mine where the mobile eyelids almost disappear when she opens her eyes. And I really loved the combination of the color they did on her, that's why I decided to do a video inspired by the look she was wearing. And also, I think it was Vogue or another fashion uh, magazine has chosen her and some other actresses as winners of the best Met Gala for her look, her, um, her dress as well and her makeup look. Here you can see the beautiful dress she was wearing. So I hope you liked this video. It's a very elegant and sophisticated makeup you can use for a night out, for a dinner or why not for a gala event if you are invited. So I hope you liked the tutorial and I'll leave you to the video. Bye! So after hydrating my skin, I'm gonna spray some Eau Thermale by Aven on my face just to rehydrate a little bit the skin. And now we are gonna move to concealer. I'm really sorry for the voiceover as always because the original video is Italian and I'm um, doing the voiceover in English, but I hope you will understand. Um, so I'm applying concealer. I'm using an Italian brand which is called Nabla. It's the under eye concealer in number two. It's a very orangey undertone, so it's gonna help me to uh, remove all the um, darknesses of the eyes area and I'm using this double-sided brush which was included in the Naked 2 Urban Decay palette is very nice one side is fluffy and you can blend creamy products and the other side is flat so you can apply also cream products or uh, pigments shadows everything Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna apply this Sublime foundation by Puro Bio, which is a biological brand uh, made in Italy, and I'm gonna mix it with some face and body from MAC in the color N1, because I want a very glowy and luminous skin, as I said before in the beginning of the video. So we're gonna mix these two foundation on a little makeup palette. And we are going to blend the product into the skin. I'm using a dual fiber brush. This is 130 from MAC. And when I apply uh, light foundations, I always use a brush because I have the impression if I want to use a sponge, uh, because the product is really, really light, it's going to soak up entirely into the sponge. Now the base is done, we're gonna leave it for a while and we're gonna move to the eyes. I'm gonna use as a primer this time, not the usual paint pot from MAC I always use, but I'm gonna apply I Love Stage Primer from Essence, which is a really cheap primer, it's only 3 euro and it's really really efficient. It's gonna make your eyeshadow last all day long and because it's an orangey color um, primer, it's gonna get rid of all the discolorations on your eyes. So you apply the product, as you can see it comes in a really nice applicator just like a normal lip gloss and then with a fluffy blending brush you want to blend it all over your eyes and underneath as well a little bit. You can see immediately how it's gonna get rid of all the darknesses and the discoloration you have on your eyes. You leave it to set for a couple of minutes or if you want you can also apply a, a setting powder, a translucent powder just to set the product and now we're gonna move to the brows. The brows in this video um, are gonna be really natural because the makeup was really natural so I'm not gonna use a gel eyeliner as I always do but I'm gonna use a nice shadow. This time you see me using an eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics which is matte brown and is 
this one on my brows palette is called Brune by MAC which is a normal dark brown so on an angled brush this is the 266 from MAC you wanna give shapes to your brows so you're just gonna fill them in in my case I'm gonna elongate a little bit the shape and also I'm gonna fill the beginning so now the shape is done, I'm gonna comb the brows upwards and we're gonna start applying our shadow. I'm gonna apply this orangey eyeshadow from MAC which is called Orange uh, and I'm gonna mix it with this other color which is called Coral. It's always a matte eyeshadow from MAC. This is gonna help us turn the orange a little bit down. So on a fluffy blending brush, this is 217 from MAC as well, we're gonna start applying the products from the corners of the eye towards the inner part, blending really softly and you wanna blend the products as well a little bit upwards towards the brows but lower the pressure so you want to put a higher pressure in the beginning and then you want to lower it when you go towards your brows so the makeup is going to be really diffused and soft and to intensify the color a little bit more you want to do a second layer of product To make the orange more caramelly, I'm gonna use this caramel eyeshadow, which is called Caramel by Nabla, which is an Italian brand. And we're gonna apply on the top of the orange we applied before and smoke it out towards the brows. You can really see how this really, really turns the orange down. So now we finish building the crease, we're gonna move to pigments. I'm gonna apply these amazing MAC pigments, which are called Melon. It's a really beautiful color for summer coming, where we're gonna be a little bit tanned. Uh, it's a goldish, orangey toned um, pigment. And you wanna apply it on a wet brush to intensify the color. So on a brush, you wanna spray some Fix Plus or some uh, thermal water, this is what I'm applying now. So just wet a little bit the brush, then take the pigments and just press it to the mobile eyelid. So after you apply the product to the mobile eyelid, you want to blend a bit the product upwards in the inner corner and also together with the other eyeshadow really really softly. We bring the product also to the inner corner and underneath as well, just to the middle part of the eye. And now we're gonna uh, highlight a bit the inner corner. I'm gonna use the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay and take the first shadow on the left, which is called Foxy, which is a really nice highlighter color. And we're gonna apply it to the um, part uh, underneath the brows just to blend the shadow together with the orangey one and after applying it with a flat brush you want to take a blending brush and blend the product together with the other eyeshadow so before applying mascara it's time to curl eyelashes and I'm using my Shuemura eyelash curler and now we apply a brown pencil really close to the lashes. It has to be almost invisible. I'm using Teddy from MAC to do this. Once you apply the pencil, you wanna blend a little bit the line with a very small detail brush. And also we are going to apply some other orangey um, eyeshadow in the other part of the eyes in the ends towards the outside corner. In the inner waterline we apply a flashy colored pencil, this is from Nabla as well, it's called Magic Pencil. As a mascara I'm using the Extra Sculpt Waterproof Mascara from Kiko, which I've been trying for a couple of weeks and I really don't like it. It's everything apart from waterproof. I had a shower in the gym and everything ran uh, out, uh, ran on my face. So yeah, I'm using it in this video, but I don't think you're gonna see me using it anymore. Uh, it's not volumizing, it doesn't do a lot on your lashes. It's maybe good for someone who has loads of lashes, but I'm really not a big fan of Kiko ones. This one was given to given to me by my sister, but uh, I pass it on to my mother as well, and we we'll see how she's gonna get it on. Uh, so I'm applying the mascara, 
and then we're gonna apply some falsies but because I want really natural look but flattery I'm gonna only use half lashes on the outside corner these are from Essence lashes to impress 03 so you stick the lashes on in the outside corner as we said and then you push them downwards to blend it together with yours now moving on to base i'm gonna set the face using studio fix powder by mac in number nt25 a very light layer because this is a powder foundation it's gonna have really nice coverage as a blush i'm gonna use a blush which comes in a sleek palette called blush by tree and this is the orangey toned one i'm gonna use the first one on the left which is a really nice orangey peachy blush really really um strong as a color so you only want to apply a little bit this video we're not gonna do any contour on the cheeks because the look the actress was wearing didn't have any so i'm gonna apply the product in the end of the cheeks on the top part blending it towards the center of the cheeks so we're gonna apply the product soften everything with the brush I know I said no contouring for this video, but I'm only gonna contour my nose a little bit because I rock it really slim. I'm gonna use a muddy, a dark brown um, shadow to do this. I'm using a nice shadow brush from Bobbi Brown. I'm gonna cut the tip of my nose and do two lines uh, on the sides, uh, stopping in the middle part of my nose. The closer the line are, the smaller your nose is gonna look. So after applying the product, you blend it a little bit upwards and on the sides as well. If you see the result, is too sharp of course you want to blend further more the product so you can take a um, powder brush the one you used before for your face you're gonna blend the product you can also use an eyeshadow brush a blending one together with the translucent powder and blend the product and you can see already the effect how the nose really looks really smaller as a highlighter we're using of course my favorite MAC soft and gentle one and I'm gonna apply to the tip of my nose which is gonna look um, more um, uh, lifted upwards you can see uh, and you blend it with a brush after you apply with your finger yeah really look like a French nose uh, this is a really nice tip to know of course we apply to the top of the cheeks as well our amazing highlighter on the cupid's bow and finally the lips you want to apply a really bold uh, red color so i thought which one is better than the amazing uh, ruby vu from mac this is what i'm gonna apply together with the mac pencil which is called cherry so i'm just doing the edge of my lips and then we're gonna fill them in with ruby vu So once you finish with the pencil, you move to lipstick and this is the amazing Ruby View. You can see the color, how really bold it is. And you have the finished look. If you liked the video as always please give me a thumb up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not you can also follow me on other social like facebook uh, twitter and instagram i'll put all the links in the end of this video you can also find them in the info box thanks a lot again for watching i'll see you to the next tutorial bye